Okay, everyone. Uh, tonight I have a CLA 250 Mercedes doing a spark plug change. Now, if you've seen some video on how to do a spark plug change, they tell you to break the original clamps from the hose here and from the hose here so you can pull it out. But I didn't want to do that. I want to re leave the original clamp on there. So the one that's really in the way, I'm sorry, I'm doing it at night. I just don't have time during the day because I work during the day. Um, is this hose right here. Um, it goes underneath this harness right here in between this harness. And then they clip into this. And what you had to do to take this out is let me adjust the light real quick is to move this tab over this tab right here get a pick or flat tip slide it back and then lift it up and then once you got everything out loose um, you can carefully work this through the harness If you bend it a little bit, that's okay. Um, it's plastic, it shouldn't break. Just bend it a little bit and move it through the harness here because it's going between here. And then I was able to get enough room to lift it up so I didn't have to break the, um, the original clamp. But to give me a little bit more room, I also disconnect this connector on this main harness that go over the intake tube which come down right here uh, underneath the I believe the AC line and it connects it to that right there and to remove it just push this gray tab back and then squeeze it squeeze the gray tab once you push it back and release it and it give you a little bit more room and you need some more room there is a plastic uh, let me see if I can show you plastic tab right here this plastic tab that go into this right here um, if you try to remove it it's it probably gonna break which is okay if it break that's okay it's not gonna move anywhere because you got the fan shroud right here it's not gonna go anywhere so I kind of pry it back but I did broke the end off but if you want to zip tie it you can zip tie it it's gonna be a little hard with this air box on there let you take it off but it give it, it give me a little bit more room so and then all this vacuum hose you do not want to disconnect this vacuum hose it's on there tight if you try, try and disconnect it you can break the hose then you're gonna have to find a new hose so anyway this one doesn't need to be disconnect so everything basically if you see the video how they do it um, they break all this clamp which you don't need to and once you get it you have enough room to lift it up high enough just the light see so you lift you can lift it up high enough just don't go too high you don't want to break all the plastic holes but I mean it give you enough room so when you put it back in um, just careful and route this back into here then clamp it clamp it back where it was at so if you don't want to break the original clamp and you want to keep it you know that's how you do it but if you want to break it you can get a hose clamp but I already just keep it original so that's how I do it and I also have this tool that I order it's a spark plug socket from Amazon it's 14 millimeter it's a swivel head 
then I use a long extension to get in there and I got it out so now I'm installing everything back um, this just information on how to change the spark plug without uh, breaking the clamps if you want to uh, just keep the original clamps because this is special clamps and once you break it then you can't reuse it so uh, that's how I I did it and it's not a very hard job um, so good luck with it have a good night